Here are some things girls do that guys love. Ladies, if you'd like a man to feel some type of way, you gotta try some of these. And boys, feel free to let me know if I've made a mistake. Touch his neck, okay? Find any casual way to do it. I don't know what the deal is with their neck, but it's like a soft, sensitive, like, they die when we touch their necks, so just do it. When y'all are hugging, just at one point in the hug, squeeze kind of tightly. He will love it, I promise you. When we walk up to them and like link their arm, almost in like a surprise sort of way, I don't get the deal with it, but they like it. Putting your head on his shoulder, okay? It's such a cute little bonding, like intimate, sweet, cute, innocent little moment. So just like do it, cause y'all both like it, so yeah. These are some subtle things people do when they don't respect you. You might see this a lot with fake or toxic friends and you might brush it off as a joke but you know it bothers you so like let me just confirm it's disrespect. When they can't take no for an answer. If you say no and someone keeps pushing you it's because they don't care that you said no and they feel like they can push you around enough to change your answer. Boundaries don't exist with them. They kind of just do whatever they want. Even if it's like a small boundary that they know bothers you they're still gonna do it. Pointing out your insecurities or making fun of you around other people. When people respect you they want to save your face. They're not gonna try to humiliate you in front of others. These are some things girls say that guys love. There's a time and place for all these, so make sure you're saying it at the right time, but if you work it well, it's incredible. And boys, feel free to let me know if I've made a mistake. Make me. Make me. Because, you know, it's teaseful, it's fun. They love it. You're annoying and I hate you. There's like a theme I'm noticing here where it's like they like when we're kind of mean flirting. Any phrase along the lines of like, or what? Or what are you gonna do about it? Those kind of things, the power they hold, the power they hold. But the best thing you can say is so simple. And it's just their name. Just their name. Refer to them as their name. Say their name whenever. Say their name in a hot fucking tone. It's incredible. If you're a younger person, this video is for you. These are some things I wish I understood when I was younger and I want you to hear them now so you don't make the same mistakes. You can be a nice person and not be a pushover. It's just called setting boundaries, okay? It's not like you have to be a bitch or you have to be a pushover who's nice. There's a gray area there. Holding grudges, being petty, getting your revenge, none of it's worth it at all. Like for your own sanity, for your own peace, you need to learn to just get over shit. Like pick your fucking battles. If it's not worth it, get over it. Stop putting people on pedestals because when you treat people like you could not handle losing Using them they step all over you and do whatever the fuck they want because they know you won't do anything about it you have to be okay with cutting people off at any time if they don't respect you keep your circle small just do it this is what i've noticed about girls who are really pretty disclaimer this is me observing this is me looking over at other girls and seeing how people talk about them seeing how people treat them they keep their circles very small they don't have a lot of friends and they have a lot of trust issues when it comes to friends it's all insecurity but these girls are very threatened by these pretty girls so they don't even try to be their friends and when they are their friends they're very fake friends because they're jealous and envious friends so they really don't wish the best for that friend or do any good for their friend causing that friend new trust issues they get over complimented they get hyped up all the time but then they'll catch these people who are always hyping them up being so nice giving them like dirty looks or making snarky little remarks that it's like showing their true character so it's just it's very fake i feel that these really stunning gorgeous amazing incredible beautiful people tend to have their feelings invalidated a lot in the sense that if they complain about anything it's like well you're still pretty well you're at least you're pretty but you're still hot it's like they're almost not allowed to have like natural human responses sometimes people get happy when bad things happen to them and sometimes they're good at hiding it most of the time they're not